Hello, my name is Jason Jones. I'd like to share with you a fairly typical uh, femtosecond assisted cataract surgery. Uh, this patient at this point has had uh, the mapping and analysis of his uh, anterior segment structures, and we're confirming uh, surface fits to the cornea and lens, both axial and sagittal. And now we're going to ablate uh, the capsulotomy in approximately four seconds. And here the laser is uh, cutting into the lens, uh, which does take a little bit of time. This patient has a fairly thick lens, so we've edited all of this for a uh, sense of uh, conciseness. Overall, uh, vacuum time is well under three minutes, which is rather typical. Uh, this patient does have a mild amount of uh, regular astigmatism, which was addressed with corneal relaxing incisions. And during uh, viscoelastic installation, uh, I've confirmed here that the capsulotomy is indeed free-floating and untethered to the peripheral capsule membrane prior to removing it. Gas bubbles are formed within the lens substance. Uh, however, none wanted to uh, migrate forward without an, any hydrodissection. And even once a hydrodissection wave had been created, uh, this rather larger bubble uh, still did not want to present itself as the lens is manipulated uh, the gas does come forward these uh, lens cuts are fairly thorough in terms of sectioning the cataract into easily manipulated uh, pieces uh, both in terms of quadrants as well as smaller 500 micron uh, cubes. The lens cuts themselves don't uh, perform anything um, horizontally, um, but the lamellar structure of the uh, natural lens uh, leads to a uh, cube type formation uh, and more easy uh, evacuation as you can see here, we're using close to no uh, ultrasound energy during this uh, cataract surgery, which is also fairly common. Now, this patient uh, does have uh, a history of mild glaucoma, and uh, fortunately, the Optometica catalyst system uses a fairly low vacuum elevation for its uh, stabilization of the anterior segment uh, to perform both its imagery as well as its uh, ablation and it's a fairly quick uh, procedure as well so there's uh, no labeled contraindication to a glaucoma patient uh, having a cataract surgery using this laser system Cortical removal is very similar to uh, a routine case. Uh, there is uh, a lack of handles, if you will, uh, around the capsule rim. Uh, however, uh, there still, still seems to be a relatively easy ability to purchase the material. And uh, both circumferentially um, and radially uh, remove it. Let's get a ring to Bio. This is a nine and a half diopter IOL going into the capsule bag. This patient is fairly myopic, as I mentioned. And I'd like to remove viscoelastic both posterior to and in front of the uh, lens. This is viscoat that's been on the endothelium throughout the case. And here you can see that the lens is 
perfectly centered within a beautiful capsulotomy. Thank you.